And we're back in Davos, and I'm here with none other than Brittany Kaiser, noted author, entrepreneur, activist. What, what else are you? <laughs> You're a lot of things to many people. Well, I, I definitely feel like my main role these days is education and, and right. preaching almost. Okay. Yeah. So right. my data rights activism has definitely turned into education. You know, why, why should people be caring about emerging tech? Why is data important? Right. Why is privacy and data protection a conversation we need to be having in every industry? And why are we in Davos? What brought you here? It's not easy to get to Davos. Why did you make the trip? I've been coming here for five years uh, because this is where you access a lot of the conversations with world leaders and corporate decision makers. Right. And the conversations that happened this week really help dictate policy and strategic agendas for the rest of the year. And it's so important to be able to have a seat at the table and make your needs and wants known. Right. And so you were at the Canada Tech Cannabis House talking about your experience with cannabis, why is it important to have discussions in Davos about cannabis on the global stage? I think it's so incredibly important right now, especially because the cannabis industry is still facing regulatory and legislative pushback. Yep. And that makes it so much more difficult for medical researchers to be able to do the data-driven research that proves that yeah. hemp and cannabis-derived products are some of the best products we have for health and wellness. I myself have been using it for such a long time and I don't know how else I would handle my pain condition and anxiety without having ready, ready to access and also understandable products where I know what I'm consuming and I feel like they're safe, right? Right, and the intersect to all that and problem solving that, that issue is technology. Mm -hmm. And you are a big proponent of technology but responsible use of technology. Can you comment maybe a bit about some of the techno technological trends that you're here to discuss and that you're really excited about? Absolutely. Well, I've always been a big proponent of distributed ledger technology and blockchain, but really in any agricultural industry, you know, cannabis or otherwise, tracking and traceability of provenance of where products are coming from is so incredibly important. In the cannabis industry, ever since uh, uh, there have been some regulatory relaxations, we now have a problem with products that are fake in the market. Yeah. Uh, we also have problems with heavy metals or pesticides that are in products that are not being tested before they're being put on the shelf. So in order for the cannabis industry to be sustainable and to have lasting impact in the healthcare industry, we need to be able to have these data-driven results. We need to be able to track and trace where everything came from, what the lab results are, and know that what it says on my bottle is all that's in it. I couldn't agree more. Being on the public market side, we want to have a reliable, traceable method for proving out what is being put into people's bodies. So we can have, um, you know, the happy, happy users mm -hmm. that are getting the benefit consistently. Absolutely. And so that we can have uh, real science based conversations with legislators and regulators to say, look, the, the data doesn't lie. Yeah. The data shows us that you guys need to implement this, not just as an industry that's good for the economy, but as an industry that's great for citizens and individuals around the world to lead a better life. Yeah, markets want to have confidence in the product that's that's driving these companies and their growth too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So there, there's plenty of reasons to do it for the economy, for investors, for driving growth in a new industry, but also just for people's well-being. I, I think the more that we can bring integrity and transparency and trust to this industry, the, the better off we're all going to be. It's a win-win situation. Well said. Well, mm -hmm. thanks again, Brittany, for joining us in Davos. Excited to or wishing you a good week here and a productive week. Thanks again for watching. It's James with the CSC. We're live in Davos and thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more interesting stories as we have our own journey here in Davos 2020.